The eye roll test is like a good initial guess. It's moderately correlated with formally measured hypnotizability. And my father discovered this. He, he was using eye fixation on a light on the ceiling of his office. Mm-hmm. And he noticed that the, the woman I mentioned who you know had the hysterical pseudo seizures, he noticed that when he asked her to look up at that light and then close her eyes, her eyes, all he saw was the whites of her eyes. Mm-hmm. They stayed up. And the, after he made that movie that day, the following Monday, he had one of the most obsessional men he'd ever seen. And he had the guy look up and he could not keep his eyes up as he was closing the eyelids. Mm. He, they came down and all he saw was his iris as they, they closed their eyes. So he began measuring that. And it turned out you can score people from zero to four mm-hmm. and how much they're able to dissociate lowering the eyelid with lowering the eye. Mm. And that is an initial interesting indication of hypnotizability. So if you want a quick five second test, do it. Here it is. Love five second tests. So look up past your eyebrows all the way up, high, way, way up. And as you keep looking up, slowly close your eyes, look up, close, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You're a three to four, you're on the upper end, because you keep your eyes way up, and I can barely see your iris as you start to close your eyes. Great. Well, another option on the menu, then. Yeah, you bet. And do you have any hypothesis for why those are correlated? Yes. Eye movements are very much related to level of consciousness. I mean, the obvious thing is you close your eyes when you go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Uh, Drugs that affect the eye and eye movements are related to autonomic arousal. Your pupils get big when Mm -hmm. your your sympathetic nervous system is going on, small when you're on opioids, for example. The third, fourth, and sixth cranial nerve nuclei are surrounded in the brainstem by the reticular activating system, which is uh, part of our arousal network. Mm -hmm. And so things that affect eye movements tend to affect arousal as well. And Mm -hmm. so we think it's an ability to shift gears, inhibit peripheral awareness, and intensify your focus. Mm -hmm. And that this is just, it's no accident that it's the same parts of the brain that regulate arousal and eye movement that are associated with this eye roll 